Good day everyone, welcome back to Sam's Watch Review. In this video, I will show you how to calibrate the twin sensor on this watch, Casio SGW100, and that is the compass and also the thermometer. So there are three parts. First is the bearing sensor calibration, and then the declination correction, and of course the thermometer calibration. But anyway, if you want to know more about the setting of this watch for time, calendar, and so on, and also the review, I will put the link in the description. Okay. Uh, first, we need to be in the twin sensor mode and to do that just press this button on the bottom right Okay, and you will see this uh, the watch is showing the Direction using the compass and also this one the thermometer. Okay, so now for the bearing sensor calibration This watch needs calibration every 100 days or after you change the battery and to do that just press and hold the top left button Okay and it will show this one cal to turn meaning that it will need two rotation to calibrate the sensor the bearing sensor and to do that we need to press this one the compass button okay and it will show this arrow spinning or rotating uh, in this uh, clockwise direction and we need to rotate the watch in the other direction or the counterclockwise direction so that the arrow will pointing away from us Okay, and we will need to rotation or to turn and after that press the mode button after finish two turns Okay, now I will show you press this one and it will Okay, the the arrow is moving clockwise and I rotate the watch counterclockwise so that the indicator is pointing away from us Okay One turn and try to be as gentle or smooth as possible okay yep two turns and press the mode button shows done and okay now it shows the compass again and it is now already calibrated for the bearing sensor calibration and then the next one is the declination correction so anyway the number that shows here after the bearing sensor correction is the magnetic north or the magnetic uh, direction there's an angle between the true north and the magnetic north and that is called the declination because the earth magnetic pole is not exactly at the north pole and south pole anyway if you're in the rescue or military or maybe you're a sailor you will know more than me it will be great if you put in the comment below to add more context to the explanation about the declination okay for the declination correction number it is going to be different from place to place for example, I live in an area with about zero declination correction, so I don't need to do any declination correction. But if I want to go to Melbourne, then I need to check the declination number. I can check from magneticdeclination.com. I will put the link in the description. And after that, I will need to input the declination number to my watch if I want to use the compass there to have a true north, true south, and so on. Okay, so it's 11 degree 53 for the declination positive east side so meaning that i will input that number in this watch and to do that this is still in the compass mode okay and i push the adjust button push and hold now it shows the calibration this is the bearing calibration we have done that earlier so now let's move to the declination correction by pressing the mode button okay now it shows dec uh, zero off meaning uh, we haven't input anything yet and I want to input 11 degree 53 but sadly for this watch we can only input the degrees so we will just round becoming 12 degrees so you can push the compass button to increase okay east side is positive 1153 I will round to 12 like this okay and if you want to decrease or uh, use the west side or minus declination you can press this one the light button but now I will input as 12 so let's say I want to go to Melbourne and yeah that's it if already done then I can press the mode button to move to the next item and that is the temperature uh, adjustment or temperature calibration for temperature calibration you will need another reference so for example this one I'm using this thermometer that shows the room temperature at 32.8 so meaning I don't have to do any calibration it's already the same but anyway, if you want to uh, shift or move the number, you can press the compass button to increase the number by 0.1, okay? And you can also use the light button to decrease by 0.1. And 
Anyway, if you want to reset to factory setting, you can press both buttons, this one, the light and the compass at the same time, like this. Okay, and it will return to the factory setting. And done, you can press the mode button, it returns to the bearing sensor calibration, and if you're done with that, you can press this one, the adjust button on the top left, and done. And that's all for this video, hopefully useful. Thank you for watching, and see you again in the next video. Bye!